top two teams will advance out of each group and the four best third place teams will also advance to the knockout stage of the competition. the kickoff underway we are here at the africa cup of nations total energies 2023 in uh, cote d'ivoire at the pre-match press conference was uh, talking a lot about counter-attack but from the opponent yes for final now maybe an opportunity gets the shot oh what a start to the cup of nations that is a hurler of a shot from Fofana, and we have a goal inside the opening four minutes of the tournament just the start the hosts were looking for. Oh, definitely, Mike. You know, it can't get better than that. Scoring, you know, scoring a, an opener in the first five minutes of a major tournament, especially when you're the host, you know, it will build up the momentum. Now, the Guinea-Bissau don't have a choice. They have to come out for an equalizer, and the Ivorians, with the quality they have in the midfield and the attack, they might, be have, they might, they might have chances to score more goals. Well, he's been a bit of a controversial figure, Seko Fofana, as far as his commitment to the Ivorian side. Uh, resisted call-up for uh, several years from the national team. He only returned earlier on this year into their colours, but what an impact he's made here. Had a wonderful season in Liga last year, with uh, last campaign, I should say, with racing lances in Saudi Arabia now, earning those petro dollars. But what a strike this is. That's pure class and power and strength from uh, Fofana. Yeah, that, that, you can see the strength. You know, he's, he's a strong lad. You know, he's a six-footer. And, you know, he's uh, shielding the ball, shielding from the defenders. And, you know, looking for, the, for you know, for this. So, Ivorian corner, swung in again. Header goes over the top. A little bit of disappointment there for a single. Centre-back partner at Monaco uh, alongside him is Mohamed uh, Salisu, ex-Southampton, now playing uh, in Liga. He's in Ghana's squad for this tournament. They'll be making their... Uh, Daniel Lamakache against Equatorial Guinea, plus uh, two matches in Group B, Egypt and Ghana making their entree. Cross inside, not bothering uh, goalkeeper Joko. More touches he can get, the uh, more confident he's going to be. Definitely, most definitely. It's good to see, in, uh, you know, within 10 minutes we've seen, uh, you know, both teams trying to use the flank. Nottingham Forest, they've got six players at this tournament, uh, more than any other Premier League side. Little burst of place, pace here from Borga inside. Mm, and what's the decision? That's one of his quality, Borga. Isn't it? You know, he likes taking the ball, running on the, you know, uh, on defenders and uh, trying to get something in. Need more from the fans. Oh, oof. Challenge from Mauro. Play on. Here's Mama Balde with a chance for an equalizer. Shot didn't have the power he was looking for. And on hand here today. Forward for. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire, an opportunity as Bamba plays it in. He has the follow-up. Kessier laid back. Seko for Fana. The woodwork denies him. Still they come. It's going to be a goal kick. That was, a, that was unlucky. He will have got his second goal you know, of, the, of the game. But he did everything right, controlled the ball, well, tried to put it in the corner. The same way he scored the first game, but uh, you know, it never turned out. Well, he's a big fan favourite for Fana, despite uh, a little bit of a check in history with the Ivorian national side. His exploits in uh, France last season, certainly well covered here in Abidjan. And that's oh, actually an excellent that, save. That's a beautiful save. It's fingertips. It was going straight in the corner. Grasso, past one tackle. The shot is blocked. Perhaps a little inadvertently by Jalo. A corner it will be, but... Uh, Cote d'Ivoire knocking on the door now, looking for that second. And there's a good run here from uh, Bamba. Grasso steaming into the middle as well. Grasso will get the touch. Now, they are claiming the penalty. What's the referee say? We are certainly going to go to VAR for this, I fancy. Each team will need that aggression, and already that person, that player that brings in that aggression into a team, you know, moving forward and you know, shouting and charging those players. And probably definitely see a different, you know, uh, 45 minutes from the first one that we saw. Two mm -hmm. victories, of course. This is Mane pushing and Encada, just a little shy of that pass. Bikel 
Semedo. And now Kane will try the shot. Oh. Left-footed effort didn't really have the power nor the accuracy that they were looking for. Gets the cross in, does Jonathan Bamba. It falls for Grasso. That is wonderful. Superbly done and just in time too. I think they needed they definitely needed that goal uh, you can see the crowd you know were waking up uh, a lot of the goal uh, well des deserved goal but they uh, since the beginning of the second half they did push up a bit to see they, they can uh, get the second goal and uh, they've gotten one uh, Crasso doubles the score here in Abidjan and Cote d'Ivoire have a two goal lead some individual skills, some persistence there when perhaps uh, other players might well have given up the ghost. Yeah, is a look at it again. The build up, of course, came from uh, Bamba. Bamba yeah. A little bit of a hesitation there, and uh, look at it, he just kept going. Everyone else was watching. That's an excellent finish. Yeah, definitely. And uh, credit goes to uh, Bamba, isn't it? Because, uh, you know, he kept going, had, had the run with the ball. In between his legs and uh, you know putting that cross in like you said you know grass he could have easily given up but you know uh, good skills good strength and uh, good awareness to uh, to have a good contact on the ball and now that should lift the noise levels here Bikol uh, most distressed with uh, the inability to clear at the back for uh, Guinea-Bissau, Jean-Philippe Crasso gets them on their feet. That's his fourth goal beaten by Egypt on penalties. That's a good interception again from Balde. He likes snatching them away. This is an excellent chance. Franchellino with a left-footed strike. Excellent stop from uh, Fofana. Just keeping the goalkeeper honest there. From Pepe. Now Seco Fofana through the middle to young Konate. Konate falls for him. Strength of Kessier as he... Powers forward and then uh, the square pass is knocked away for a corner. As always, uh, when you watch a lot of African football, you know, the decision making, you know, uh, you can see the first pass was supposed to go wide, but it went into the middle and now, you know, he allows the uh, the green shirts. An attacker, uh, he'll drop back a little bit and push Francelito a bit further forward. And Zetobo yes. gets the header in over the top. It's uh, so unlucky. Now gotten the he has a good leap and a good just needed to coordinate the ball and wait. Oh, it's slipped and they hit his, his shoulders. That's why it went over. Ghana against Cabo Verde at uh, 8 p.m. Nice first touch again from Franciolino. Needs a bit of support. Zet Turbo yeah. puts it wide. That's a beautiful first touch and uh, you know good uh, recovery from the uh, two both Ivorian defenders and uh, you know put him and put him a notch off the ball. By Wednesday night, all of the uh, first round teams will have played uh, a match here at the Africa Cup of Nations. We'll have a better idea of who are going to be uh, contenders later on. Now, Semedo, he deserves something for all his work. It's a poor pass, though, behind French leader. They slept possession. Zed Turbo goes again for goal and puts it wide. Borga. Fofana. Now the chance for Pepe with the left foot. He belts it with some power, but it is well wide a goal. Yeah, you know, uh, he, he, he needs to recover his confidence because, you know, he has shown a lot of promise, Pepe, and, uh, you know, he just went down because he's a player. When, when, he, he, when he was signed for, uh, for Arsenal, we expected. Getting the sole player down, and the referees decided that's enough. So, first. Goal in each half uh, secures the three points uh, for the Ivory Coast. They win it 2-0. Thank you so much for watching. From Antonio Aquilino, arrivederci.